Hey Design Squad, welcome back to another Sketch Noob to Master series. And in this one, I'm gonna cover some of the masks. And mask functionality is something you might be familiar from Photoshop or Illustrator or any other tool basically, because it's quite essential. You have masking in so many different tools where you want to, let's say, cut out the piece out of the different items or overlay items in a certain way. And if you remember from my previous video, I showed you a subtract functionality, which basically cuts out a piece out of the other piece, but that's really specific to shapes. Now masks is specific to anything else but shapes and it works exactly the same way. So let me demonstrate. For example, in this specific design, I have this avatar. And as you can see, it has a fill in of the image, but we can achieve this effect in you know, in any other way. So I don't have to have a fill in it. I can actually just create a, you know, a shape around it and have an image overlaid and mask it. So let me show you how it's done. So I'm gonna go to my fresh artboard and gonna make half like a maybe a pick or so, or maybe actually, let's use the existing design I just showed you. And so imagine that I have this effect. Both of them are flat images right now, like screenshots as you can see in my outline. And this is just a bigger version of the same thing. And so imagine that I work on this premium composition where I'm showcasing my app I just did. And let's say I want to showcase like a lens effect where I'm just previewing it, or maybe I want to make that avatar or something like that, but I just want to showcase this effect. Now I could just display it on top like this and make it quite brutal. You know, it's kind of like, hey, this is how the zoomed in version looks like. Or I could make it like a bit more smooth. So I would take an oval shape, let's say, and just overlay it like so. So this is our like a peek through like a lens effect type of bit. And then do something, but that's the question exactly what. So if I would just take that shape, as you can see, I'm gonna name this, let's say lens image, so you see exactly what's going on up, up there. And I would just drag that oval underneath it, select both of them, and let's say click mask. You're gonna see that it automatically created me a mask bit with a folder. And it's simple as that. Now I can edit that image inside and shape it however I want. Maybe that's how I want it to look like and then create that mask, which is basically masking out everything else, but what's in the actual uh, rounded shape, right? And so, you know, I could then add, let's say, shadow to it, you know, make it a bit more kind of like pop, let's say, maybe maybe a flatter shadow too, you know, like it's, it's kind of like almost up to you now to decide exactly how do you want it to appear. Maybe you want to add a border to it. It's it's really like almost infinite possibilities of what you can achieve with it. So this is, let's say, how I like my lenses to appear. It's quite flat. And if I just resize that folder with a mask, I can just reposition it anywhere I want and maybe have a presentation, let's say, or portfolio item which uses mask and, and uses it rightfully, right? So that's one way to use masks. Now, the other way, is to actually, you know, with the same exact principle, you can overlay anything whatsoever. So let's say if you have photo or so, and you want to overlay colors like you would do in Photoshop, it's exactly the same bit. And so I just took a random image from Unsplash really quickly. So you can see exactly what, what I'm doing. Then let's see, it's a bitmap, right? So let's rename it like a parsnip photo. Boom. And now everything I would put underneath it, Let's say that mask shape, if I would just copy that bit and just put it underneath it. As you can see, it automatically masks it. So if I would just now place the image just a little bit to the left, it would appear in the same mask. So maybe that's the use case you're looking for. And so what I'm going to do is, let's say I could just place a shape underneath it. Let's say it's a star maybe, like this. Maybe this is something you are designing for a banner or a creative type of bit. And if we drag it underneath and select both of them, click mask, it automatically masks and makes me a pretty nifty parsnip star, which I can then maybe add to my designs or use it somehow differently. Now another bit, another use case, which is like a totally different one. It's a color one. So I can unmask objects anytime if you right click, ignore underlying mask, you're gonna see that your image now appears separate. 
so you can toggle it left and right you know it's up to you how you want to use it and I'm just gonna delete it I'm gonna do something really crazy or something really simple but crazy so let's say I'm gonna add a shape overlaying it like so and I'm gonna add let's say a fill of a gradient to it maybe like so and imagine that one of the ending points of a gradient is actually transparent and we can maybe invert it like so maybe just increase it a little bit like this and the other point maybe it's red right so it's it's quite neat well actually let me edit it again yeah so let's say it's it's quite harsh red like so and the direction of actual gradient like this right you can edit of course how you want your gradient to behave and look like i want to do it like this and i can just resize that bit and just overlay it like this right so now what could you do using masks to work with it well you could again select both things and just mask it automatically and you're gonna see that it masked it and it's based on transparency and let me show you it ignored the color but what it didn't ignore was the actual bits in the mask because the shape was treated as a mask the image was treated as a something to be cut out of right so if i let's say if i edit my mask you're gonna see that it's getting cut cut off like this. I could even modify it even more like this maybe. And that's how you would create that fade effect, right? Like so, let's say, and the middle point maybe is like this or something like that. So you have that graduation like this. And now it looks like it, it's just white thing, but in reality, what it is, it's overlaying everything. So if I would add another shade underneath, let's say, you're gonna see what's happening here. And let's say color it in red now. You're gonna see that this bit, which has a mask, is actually now is faded, but it's faded meaningfully. And if I edit, let's say, our mask again, and I edit our gradient, which is purely the transparency bit, because it, that's all the mask cares about. Like maybe it's, this is something what we're looking for. Then you can, can create banners and fade in different photos and using masks, right? Because I use a solid foundation here, the gradient with a reduced opacity in the end there. And that's how the sketch interpreted it. So it gives you ability to blend different bits together, which are not meant to be blend, mask it, you know, all that jazz. And then you can play with shapes as well as mass. So we are building on top of the knowledge I presented to you in the previous sessions. Uh, leave a like, subscribe to this channel, share with your friend who is also learning new tools like Sketch, let's say. Check out other sessions because I have other Noob to Master sessions and other learning material on this channel. And as per usual, stay tuned for more.